Right, morning guys. So it's JJ Richards back with another episode for my Road to the Classic Physique. So it's Tuesday today. So literally now is it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Four days out. So four days out from my competition. So we've got quite a busy day today. So we're just on the M4 now driving to Bristol. So we're going to do a shoulder depletion session today. And once we've done that, we're going to then drive back up to Swindon. So I've got a massage booked in. So quite a busy day today which is good because it keeps your mind occupied. So I'm on zero carbs again today. So this is now day three of my depletion. So the whole point of the whole carb depletion thing is just basically because you want to starve your body from glycogen. And that's why when I'm going to train now, I'll show you my workout, but I just add more volume into it. So I do a lot more drop sets. I know we've got like 15, 20 reps. I do more reps. I still try and keep the weight fairly heavy just to try and deplete all the glycogen from your body. So then come either like midday Thursday or Friday when I decide to do my carb up, your body sort of like super compensates and it just stores all that glycogen. And your body basically stores glycogen as glucose in the liver and the muscles. So it just gives you that full look. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I've got today and tomorrow left of zero carbs and then I'm gonna show you about what I'm gonna do on Thursday and whether I'm gonna do another depletion or if I'm just gonna do like um, the load midday. But it's always hard to predict because you just gotta base it on how your sort of physique looks. But so far, everything's going really well. I don't think Lucy would agree. How do you think this prep's been? Hard. Hard. Th this prep has been really difficult. Just in, not in regards to the diet and the training and that. that. That that stuff's easy for me. It's the stuff outside of the gym that's really difficult. And especially because Finley, like last time I competed, it was a baby, so it was dead easy. But now he's like at that terrible two stage where I just don't have the energy to, to play with him and keep up with him. And my tolerance and frustration is really low. But fair play to Lucy because most people would probably have divorced me by now but she's got the patience of a saint so she's a good wife so i'm gonna head over to the gym now like i've said so i'll get some footage of the shoulder depletion session and um, just to show you guys what we're training and then we'll see what the plan is for the rest of the day i'll show you guys a little bit about what i'm eating but it's not too exciting believe me and then massage time which i'm looking forward to so i just want to loosen up a little bit and um, just get some scar tissue out loosen up sort of just drawing a little bit of detail so just one last massage before sunday so everything should be good so i'll see you guys in the gym Right, so that is the gym session done. So like I said, it was just like a depletion workout for shoulders. So I can't remember how many exercises done. It must have been about six or seven. And aiming for between like 15 to 20 reps really, just to get rid of that last bit of glycogen. But it was a very, very good session. The wife absolutely smashed it. Love training with her. She always manages to push me through the workouts. However, Finley is just about to tuck into this chocolate rice cake. And to me right now, this would be absolute heaven. But a few more days and I can indulge in as many of those as I want. However, on the plus side, time for this whey protein shake. So the time for nutrition, um, raspberry whey, I can't even talk. This is what happens, excuse my 
ability to talk over the next couple of days. I can't even speak, I'm slurring my words. However, this is the nicest protein shake on the market and I'm gonna savor it for about half an hour because it's a highlight of my day. So I'm gonna head over to Swindon now. I've got a massage booked in for an hour. So I'm gonna get that done, feel good, and I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Finley, how's that rice cake? How's that rice cake? <laughs> right, okay, so it's about five o'clock now, so back at home now, just chilling out. Just got my meal prep all sorted for tomorrow, so that is a job done. So the massage was very, very good, so I definitely think that is going to bring me some benefits just to try and loosen me up a little bit, just get some blood circulating and try and remove any sort of scar tissue that's in there just to make sure I am nice and fresh for show day. So the plan now is I'm just going to chill out. I'm absolutely ball bagged. I have well and truly hit the wall. Day three of no carbs. Last day tomorrow, so I think I'm going to start my carb up midday on Thursday after my workout. In regards to my water, so I've got two litres of water left. So what I've done with my sort of water manipulation is on Sunday I started off with six litres. Then I'm going to up it by half a litre every day. So today I need to get seven litres in. And then I'll do that all the way up until Friday. And then on Saturday, I'll probably have a couple of litres in the morning and then I'll stop it around midday. But it's important that when you up your carbs that you keep the water in. So a lot of people will cut water and then they'll cut sodium and then they'll put carbs in. But the carbs have just got nowhere to go because the carbs need water and sodium to transport into the muscles. So the reason behind the water manipulation is because you will just be weighing so much from drinking all the water. And your body's just so used to getting it in and out at a fast pace that if you just do an automatic stop of your water intake, you're still gonna be flushing it out at a fast pace, and then hopefully you wake up crispy and dry, ready for show day. So that's sort of like how you drop your water, and that's the tactic I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna end the video now, because I wanna try and get in, get it edited, get it uploaded, because I wanna try and get it on tonight, because I wanna try and get through frequent videos, possibly every day if possible. So I hope you guys are enjoying and um, following me on my journey and enjoying the peak week. I'll give you as much information and detail about my strategy as possible. Give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about anything, drop in below. I'll always get back to you, and of course, subscribe and until next time peace